Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am so excited because today I'm going to be sharing with you a full face of Venetian Rose by M Cosmetics. I recently picked up their latest Divine Skies eyeshadow palette and this was the final product to complete my Venetian Rose collection. I did purchase the palette myself but everything else was sent to me and Pia a couple months back and I'm just really excited because I am excited for literally every single M Cosmetics launch and I have done a full face of Magic Hour. I've done a full face of Fade of Clementine which I'll leave it linked down below and also in the cards as well if you're interested in those iconic shades but today we're gonna focus on a Venetian Rose and I really just love how M Cosmetics can just make a whole collection of one shade you know it's kind of similar to like charlotte tilbury how her pillow talk line is like the most popular one in cosmetics we have magic hour we have fade of clementine now we have venetian rose and i'm really excited to see which shade will be next but today let's just focus on venetian rose and the entire collection so with that being said let's hop into the tutorial all right so we're gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette and i'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyes just to get it all ready i'm using the kaleidos tone activator eye primer this is the eye primer that i use all the time for all of my looks just to help ensure that the eyeshadow will last all day and first up, we have their latest Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. This is in, of course, Venetian Rose. It comes with three mattes, three metallics for 40 US dollars, and it's in their iconic eyeshadow packaging. So this is what it looks like in person when I first saw the promo photos. I think the photos didn't really match the swatches. I think the lighting really changed the color of the palette. When I first saw the promo photos, it looked a lot like magic hour but in person you can definitely see that venetian rose is a little bit more mauvey and a little bit deeper but i do think there is a strong comparison here i think they really did keep with the same color palette in a way but i feel like they could have done a little bit more with the color selection but who knows i'm just gonna play with the shadows i literally just got this in the mail yesterday so i have not touched it i have not even swatched it so maybe once it's on the eyes it does perform very different but first impressions it does already look very very similar to a magic hour so we'll test it out i'm gonna try my best to use all of the shadows on my eyes today um first i'm gonna go in with the shade over here this one i think is called cherish and we're just gonna work that straight into okay wow that is really pigmented uh, we're just going to work that straight into our crease using windshield wiping motions. This would be the lightest matte shade out of the three. And that one is already a lot darker if we're going to compare it to a uh, magic hour, for example. So there's already like quite a big difference. I love M's um, formulation. I think they do blend really well. And the very buildable pigmented shadows. We're also going to take that same shadow onto our lower lash line as well. Then I'm going to go in with this shade down here, which is called Venetian Rose, of course. And we're going to start packing this on at the outer corners of our eyes, just to start deepening out that area. I debunk my first impressions comparing this to Magic Hour. I, mean, I don't know why in the pan it just looks so similar, but you can't get a look like this from Magic Hour. It's very different, but we'll see. Maybe the metallics would be a little bit more similar. I'm also going to take Venetian Rose onto my lower lash line as well, but using a defining brush just at the outer corner here. Now I'm going to go into this shade over here, which is called Charm. Honestly, I don't really know where to use this shadow. Maybe we'll place it next to Venetian Rose. <laughs> it's just because it's a little bit lighter. I, don't, I just don't know where to put this. Yeah, I'll just put it next to Venetian Rose just for your preference so you can see what it looks like on the eyes. I don't know. I would have personally liked a very deep, deep plum, almost black. That would have been really nice, I think, for this kind of palette, but we're just going to add it into this outer corner region and just blend it into Venetian Rose, I guess. Mm. 
Now I'm taking this shade on the side here called Embrace. And we're gonna place that at the center of our eyes as well. Oh, this shadow is really pretty. This is like Venetian Rose in a metallic form. I like this. Then taking this shade over here called Always, we're gonna squeeze that right into the inner third. Always is a little bit, I guess, more brighter. It adds dimension to the look. I wouldn't expect them to add this type of pink into a, such a romantic palette. And lastly, I'm taking this shade up in the middle called Honeymoon. And this is going to be our inner corner highlight. Oh yes, yes. I love that. I'm gonna take some into my inner corner here. Like it reflects silvery, but it almost has like a slight pinky undertone. Such a pretty inner corner highlight. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my M Cosmetics Illustrative Brush Tip Eyeliner. I'm using the black shade and I'm gonna create a little wing for this look. This is just sort of like a map out because then I will go in with black eyeshadow to smudge that out. And then just taking a black eyeshadow to smudge that wing out. What I also like to do is a tight line with the liquid liner as well. If you are following along, just be careful if you are doing this step. You can always just go in with an eyeliner. I just find that tight lining with the liquid liner doesn't smear. So now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes just to get them prepped for my falsies. And because this is an M Cosmetics video, I'm gonna go ahead and use their Pick Me Up Mascara. And for lashes today, I'm wearing Honey from Petite Cosmetics. But now onto the cheeks, I have the Serum Blush in Venetian Rose and this is 25 US dollars. I haven't had the best luck with the Serum Blushes and I've only used the Venetian Rose shade a couple times so we're just going to apply some. I didn't actually set my cheek area um, so I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand. I can never get this applicator right, like I'm pretty sure it's like really simple but I can never get it right. <laughs> I've used the other shade Cherry Splash and that one does look patchy on me. So we'll just have to test this one out. I actually like to go in with my sponge like this. So I take some on the back of my hand, go with my sponge and apply. So we'll just deep, deep, deep. Oh wow, okay, this one go is going on a lot better than Cherry Splash. Maybe it's just the shade Cherry Splash that I had issues with, but this one is not patchy at all. I love that. And the Venetian Rose shade is really nice. You really don't need a lot of this. Like, look how pigmented that is. I do love an overblush look, so I don't mind that at all. So, I love this now. <laughs> oh, I love a good blush, guys. So I'm gonna go in with the Heaven's Glow blush in the shade, of course, Venetian Rose. This is 34 US dollars, and I absolutely love the Heaven's Glow formulation. Faded Clementine would have to be my favorite, but I do love Venetian Rose. I've had this for a little bit now. It sits in my top drawer, as well as Magic Hour as well. But we're gonna just take a little bit of this and apply that just right on top of that serum blush. I wish I could just show you it on its own, but it kind of just enhances the color a bit more. We love, we love. But honestly, the combo of the serum blush 
is cute. I know I look really over blush right now. I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and just dab that out a little bit. But honestly, I love a good blush moment. And now onto the final Venetian Rose product. We have their Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer. And this is 22 US dollars. I love this formula as well. Super hydrating. It's a great like tinted lip balm. And I love the Venetian Rose shade too. And this, you guys, is a full face of Venetian Rose by M Cosmetics. I would love to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Which product was your favorite? I personally, I loved everything. <laughs> but I think what surprised me the most was definitely the serum blush and I've had this for so long now But I think because I tried a different shade that was a little bit patchy I wasn't really interested in trying another shade because I thought it would be the same But I was totally wrong and I just love my cheek combo right now this with the heavens glow blush Perfection chef's kiss and I also do like the eyeshadow palette too. It is very very different from magic hours So I take my first impressions back. It is completely different I love this very sultry mauve look and of course I love the lip cushion So I really do love everything and I'm really happy with my makeup today If you guys did enjoy this video if you could please give it a thumbs up for me I would appreciate it so much and with that being said that is going to wrap up today's video Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!